right, Dothraki, your Kalzad, leader of the Dothraki Hun Horde, is back, and it's time for us to continue our civilization. Last video, we finally got a big chunk of exploration done. Our caravels are going around the world, and I'd say we're over the uh, halfway mark of getting all these oceans uncovered, okay? And it seems like the greatest threat is from the narrow, uh, the narrow sea right here that separates Essos and Westeros. Now, you guys were pointing out that the Romans have a pretty big navy down here. We don't know where they're sailing, right? They could be going after this uh, barbarian encampment if they have, like, a few military units. We don't know if they have land units over here. They could be just trying to take this out to help out the city-state because there is a city-state right there. But, you know, they could also be on their way to our continent from this side and they're all kind of just lining up right so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that i actually with this caravel i want to backspace him so i can just keep an eye on these guys but if they do decide to attack at say attila's court or utrecht there's really not much we can do about it right now i mean i can try to form up some you know semblance of an army but uh it or a navy sorry but it would be very expensive and we wouldn't have that many units out there for example i could go to amsterdam and right now i could go to uh purchase a frigate but it costs 570 right now we have a lot of gold but we're making minus 68 per turn now i could flip that to gold right but we want to get caught up, caught up on science so what i'm trying to do right now is still raising population and finishing the public schools so that when all the public schools are done we can focus every city on science then right but until that time i want to i want to grow in uh, population now our happiness went back up to six and i don't know how that happened i thought we were a little bit lower so what i'm going to do is because we just got to till his court but, uh, and Attila's court is actually going to have this mine done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, uh, avoid growth and turn them off all these cities. Whoever wants to grow first, I could care less. But I want to use that happiness. We don't need it to uh, go down any further. There you go. I mean, uh, not go down any further. Obviously, it's going to go down right now. But I want to use it. I don't... Uh, I only just want to make sure that it's that we are happy, so that if war happens. But I don't need to have like six plus happiness trying to save up for a golden age. No, that's useless. Okay? And also, I don't want to purchase the frigates because, I mean, if we get the Big Ben, that will help us. Uh, what does the Big Ben do again? Uh, does it say? Hang on, change productions. Let me just highlight it. Pretty sure it's buildings and it's everything. Our cost of gold purchasing in all cities reduced by 15%, right? So, it's 15%. Uh, it's, it's not like tremendous. But we'd save a little bit if we wanted to purchase, say, four or five frigates, right? Now, I know it's 17 turns away. I'm hoping that it can finish a little bit quicker if we get some of these. Uh, well, it's not really going to finish quicker. But you know what I mean, all right? So the main thing is the frigates down here. We'll keep an eye on them. But other than that, yeah, we can continue to go. So our happiness is already at six. It's going to grow to... Unless we already got a mine somewhere else. Oh, let's see what's going on. Yeah, see, the, uh, the Roman frigates are attacking this barbarian camp. So... I don't want to say that they're not headed to us, but at least we know that that's the reason that they're over here, okay? I imagine maybe there's a, a ground unit that's going to take it or something, because they can't take it with the steam, with the uh, ironclad. It can't take a barbarian camp. What's going on up here now? Let's follow these wars, boys. Crossbowmen from Genghis Khan attacking Panama City. I actually saw a few comments saying if you liberate a city-state, then you can get rid of your warmongering penalty. So that actually might be something that we can look into. If Panama City gets taken... And we build up a big enough army, we can send them over there, declare war on Genghis Khan, but make peace with the rest of the world. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, Byzantium, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Very well. I know my army is pretty weak right now, but you know what? I have a whole continent to myself. You want to bring something? Bring it. Even if I lose one city, I can still just, like, cut the empire off from here and start building, right? It's just time. That's what I need. I just need time right now. So, as long as we can stay at peace, we are building for the future. All right, so this guy, we also have another great merchant that we're going to send. That'll give us a little bit extra gold as well. Uh, you guys, all right. Really? No, no, I'm going to keep him on Explore because um, they they clearly went after these guys. Again, if they if they decide to go after Attila's Court, not much I can do. I could try to purchase a few frigates, but if they get killed and it's a waste of money, I, I'd rather them, you know... They're not going to take anything other than coastal cities, right? So I can just... I can also just raise the city to the ground if I want to before they can take it. Don't worry, don't worry. Thinking too far ahead right here. We've we got to build and hope for some luck. All right, so we're still growing. Five population. So let's see. Does this go up if I finish this? Oh, two more turns. All right, two more turns. Next turn. Let's just go then. Let's see what the world takes us to. Let me just zoom out. I'm not going to move the map. I don't want to actually... I, I, I accidentally skip anything here. Very important that we know what's going on in the world. 
But I do believe that this is a good place to be in because the rest... I gotta figure out how much of this land uh, Rome has. But remember what, what I said about the score. It's because of all those wonders that he has. Alright? Because of all the capitals that he's taken. It's not Rome itself that has that kind of score. There's no way. He's not, he's not that far ahead in technology. Like... Compared to the other civilization. We're far back, but Theodore to Augustus Caesar, they're pretty close. And we have uh, the World Congress coming in one term. We're going to try to, uh, what's it called, repeal that salt resource. That'll give us another four happiness. That'll grow, uh, help us grow a little bit more. All right, you, into here. Going to construct, uh, conduct a trade mission with Ormus. So there's another 1,400 gold. That helps tremendously. We're up to three... So if I wanted to say, yeah, I could probably get around six frigates, but then I'd be down to zero gold, right? So, and there's no point in purchasing one or two because they won't be able to hold off that army. If I'm going to build a navy, I'm going to build a navy. But for right now, I got to just uh, hold off, all right? Uh, yeah, besides, even if they say attacked uh, Utrecht, it'd be easier to just build up some pikemen and some trebuchets. And once they take it, then you take it back from this side. Uh, unless they have some ground forces that they can go in and reinforce. Oh, look at this. You, little bastard, Arabian settler. Where are you trying to go? Sigtuna, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hang on a sec. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. I don't think so, bud. Buy oh, no, no. Whoa, Ray City. Buy tile. Right there. All right. So he's not coming in this land. That was a good spot there. Uh, Calzad. So if that settler wants to get to Sigtuna's spot, I mean, they could be settling lands up here, which I, I'm not going to try to settle because I got way too much to deal with right now, right? But uh, we might as well just slow him down a little bit. So if he does want to get over there, he's got to go all the way around here now. He's not cutting across our lands. Is there a way? There is a way to get through here to this court. You know what? Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, I'm going to, I know it's stupid, but just to make it so I don't accidentally forget. All right. So yeah, they're good. So you'd have to go all the way up there to cross my borders. Or go all the way down here through... Not much I can do about that right now, the down here. Tillis Corp, five tiles, 60. Yeah, I'll just do this. There you go. And, uh, yeah. Even though that doesn't really matter. Just lengthen it a bit. Just lengthen it a little bit. We had all that gold. All right, so that should keep that settler at bay. Good. Uh, what else are we doing? That mine. I want to see if our happiness goes up. Let's see Boom. Yeah, our happiness went up to 11 now. So grow, son. Grow. Every city, grow. Uh, I want this to focus on production. You know what? What should I do? Hang on, hang on. I'm just thinking. I want that on production, yes. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to start to go back to food focus. All right? I want to grow these cities. And we got to do it right now. Got to take advantage of that happiness. You know, the public schools will be slowing down a little bit, but... The public schools will, only, will uh, only be as good as the population in the city. We need more population. There you go. Food. And then Calzod's Mount. If I switch to food, it goes up to 21 turns. That's five turns. Let me... No, 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 no. Let's finish the... Yeah, let's finish this one. We put a lot of time and effort into that. Let's make sure we get it done. That's a huge one for us. Okay. So there you go. Fuck off, it working, boys. We're working our tiles. Uh, gold per turn. Nope. Don't worry, boy. Don't worry. I'm not going to give the happiness. I don't want the extra gold. If I focus on gold, we can easily get it. I do not want to give Romans any more happiness. Okay? So you can see how the Arabian settler now has to go up north. Uh, re refuse that. He's got to go up north to get around. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Maybe he could be going right here, but I'm pretty sure it's probably like... Uh, like that's a, a seven coal resource right there with three fish. and uh, All these atolls that you could work. I'm not... Founding a city out there, boys. It's too far away, okay? It's something that we could take over once somebody else takes it. Fine. Later on, late game. Uh, when, like, nukes come out in planes, so we don't want somebody to have a forward base right there. But for right now, I got bigger fish to fry. All right? But I recognize that. I see that. All right, so we got that done. You, back on automated. There you go. Okay, so influence over Ormus has decreased to the point where you're no longer friends. That's okay. Ormus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Byzantium is the first civilization to achieve, achieve culture that is influential with another player. Okay. And acquisition of copper. Oh, that's good, because now... Oh, Helsinki will grow. Okay, never mind. It's not our capital. All right, the second Mecca conference. So let's see this. Science funding. What does this do? Increases generation of great scientists, engineers, merchants by 30 33%. Decreases... I wouldn't mind this one because of all the uh, specialists that we're going to have eventually, right? But I think this one's more important for us right now. Now, if I blah, 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 six civilizations controlling 23... Oh, no, they won't say anything about if we vote, will people be mad? Yeah, yeah, okay, so let's repeal this, uh, 
Let's repeal this. All right, there you go. I'm going to get three votes for salt. That will give us another four happiness. Commit delegates. There you go. Okay, so the vote's going to happen in, uh, I forget how, it, next turn, or maybe it's another, i got to wait like another little bit. All right, but the good thing is that I think with uh, Bagacum, there isn't any uh, barbarians that have been spawning in our territories recently, which is good news because I don't have time for that. All right, but Utrecht is going to grow. Amsterdam, U uh, Rotterdam, they're all going to grow. Yerevan, Helsinki, Palenque. Are you, why are you still? Oh, that's why. There you go, Palenque. And uh, Venice I put to food. Yes, I did. All right. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's go next turn then. I want to see what this repeal does. We're at eight happiness. That's going to drop. Remember, we have so many cities, but every little bit of population helps. We've got to get Attila's Court up there as well to at least a two population. We still have the uh, the um, the zoos and the coliseums to build. And also, if we get all the coliseums in every single one of our cities, we can get like the, uh, what is it, like the National Wonder for Happiness? Well, what's it? It's like the, uh, the, I don't know what it is. But you know what I'm talking about. It's the plus five for happiness. We can get that. Just I want to get the public schools. That's going to that's gonna help us catch up. I guarantee you, by the time that we get all these public schools in every single one of our cities, we're going to have more public schools than all these other civilizations because they don't have this uh, this many, right? So we'll be okay. Uh, bag comes grown, blah, blah, blah. Uh, repeal of the salt ban was not passed. Three yay from the Huns, two nay from Byzantium, and one nay from Mongolia. So they tied it just with one. Nobody else wanted to repeal it. Okay. I guess all the, uh, uh, votes went to science funding. Nay for Rome, nay for Byzantium, and nay for Mongolia. It's because they're in the lead. So we didn't get the uh, salt resource that we wanted. That kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? Okay. So 25 more turns before the next one. Okay, so let's just go. Yeah, next turn. Let's see where the uh, what the game says is going on here. Our workers are still getting to work. The silver right there. I mean, a bunch more resources. But slowly but surely, our city borders will grow. Mongolian caravel, don't worry. That's nothing to uh, worry about. They're not attacking us. Five trade routes still. Five happiness. Kathmandu calls for faith. Yeah, things are looking okay. Gonna have to stop this. I'm gonna have to stop this population grow soon. It's look, it's going down by like one every turn because of the uh, amount of cities that we have. So Helsinki's now up to eight. So Helsinki and Yerevan have caught up to all these cities now, right? So we got some a uh, few more powerhouse cities. Well, not necessarily powerhouse, but average, above average cities. Uh, there you go. Powerhouse by now, you need like 25. That's one thing that we do not have, like a major city, which might hurt us a little bit. I'm hoping that all these minor cities can be a nice uh, backup for that. Or the, uh, the secondary for that. Uh, all right, let's check our borders. No. We got no navy sailing on our uh, our lands. We can continue to go here. We want to get that big bend done. That's the big one. 11 more turns to get that done. If we can get that, that uh, and then we can focus on science, and we'll see if we can be, still be making gold. Also, remember, when our caravels are done, I can delete all the caravels. That will be extra gold as well. And also the workers... If we go to war, I can delete. But they're doing a great job right now. The workers have been out there longer than... Like, when I when I had them all out there, I was thinking if I could just, you know, get a certain amount of turns, I'll feel good. I've, I think I've passed that point. Because... Hang on, I don't want to click around the map because it might actually make me skip something. Barbarians, are they attacking anything? No, they're not. Okay, good. All right, but what was I saying? Yeah, Stockholm, look at Stockholm. It's got one more to do the... There you go. Stockholm's completely done. All right? So it's... uh. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of resource tiles done now, so that's good. The workers did their job. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, four more happiness so we can keep on growing here. Uh, yep, really not much to do. They're still over here. Over, yeah, they haven't sent any. That's good. The uh, Roman Navy is over here because they're not taking up that spot. That's good. Don't have to worry about it. Ooh, Roman Frigate over here. All right, let's go next turn. Let's keep an eye on this guy. Where is he headed? Really don't have much to do. Now he's just he's just exploring. We're okay. There is the uh, there's the Arabian settler. Yeah. So there's nothing I can do about them going over that side. And I know if you guys are in the comments, go kill him right now. No, that's a that's a that's pointless. Why declare war on somebody? They're just gonna have another or another civilization is gonna get a settler and go over there. Okay. If they if they try to uh, you know land on our map, then I'll do something. But those islands up there, those that's free. That that's no, that's up for grabs. Can't do everything. They just better not spawn over here. I'll be pissed off if they do that. I'll send an army right over there. All right, so worker, automated. There you go. All right. Uh, Al-Rashid has entered the modern era. Okay, so him and Rome. 
Uh, Byzantium and Arabia have signed a research agreement. So Arabia and Byzantium really, you know, pounding along in science. We need these public schools. Blah, blah, blah. Attila's court now has two populations, so that's good. It'll grow a little bit. Yep. All right, so we're at uh, two for growth. Okay, I'm going to go back to avoid growth now, just in case, like, uh, something happens that I'm not thinking about. So production, avoid growth, production, avoid growth, production. Let me just do this. It's going to take some time. There you go. And hopefully we can finish all those public schools a little bit quicker now. But um, what was our happiness up at? Like 11? So if we're down to two, our... Just if you take into account our whole empire, we've grown by what, like seven population? It's not bad. Avoid growth. There you go. All right, so we're back to avoiding growth in every single one of the cities. Uh, what did we get over here in Venice? Oh, did we get the uh, public school done in Venice? Yes, we did. Oh, we got a public school done in Amsterdam as well. So uh, there you go. It's going to go up slowly. Factories, zoos. I know you guys want the factory so we can get the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The uh, ideologies, right? When you build your third factory, yeah, or enter the modern era. I'm just trying to think. Is that really something that we should be getting going on right now? Or should I start building up some frigates over here in Amsterdam? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to start building up some frigates. Okay? For a navy over here. Factories will come, boys. I just... I'm thinking about the navy right now. Public school. Oh, so we got the public school in Venice done as well. That's good. Uh, how about a frigate? And I could sail them over there. No, you know what? For Venice, I'll get the uh, factory done. There you go. But the uh, the cities that are over here, I can get some frigates. Okay, so we got a factory done in Venice. Uh, yeah, let's go next turn. We keep on going here. Not much to do. Palenque got 20 production, so that will help out with the public school. I really just want to get this big bend done. Once I can get that done. Uh, and sorry, we have no interest. So Egypt now is thinking about going to war against... Oh, they are. That's already hurting. Oh, yeah, it's getting hit. Yep. So the world over there is is getting hurt. It would just be nice if, if somebody could team up on the damn Romans. They're getting another settler. I don't know where they're going to send that. Hopefully they send it down here or something. Away from me. But the Romans still have their uh, military down here and they're not moving it. So that's good news for us. But man, it would be great if Constantinople and like uh, Arabia and Rome could all go to war against each other. Alright. So we got that great engineer, Imhotep. Alright. Uh... But I don't think I should waste them on a, uh, I don't think I should waste them on a, uh, on the Big Ben because it's already like seven population. I mean, uh, seven, per, seven turns away from being done, right? So that would be a little bit of a waste, I feel. Yeah, so two more turns for that public school. So six more turns, two more turns, seven more turns, seven more turns. Uh, three more turns, 14 turns. Yeah, let's go next turn. You can keep going here. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get either. I just want the caravels just to get around that continent. Once they get this chunk done, I can delete them. It's pretty much done. We don't need to get all the fog of war done. Like, there can be little spots in the Arctic. Like, the, they, they always go up there and finish everything. They don't need to get all that done. I just want to get the general sense of where all the islands are and this last part. Is there anything down here? Let's go. Yeah, there you go. That caravel's going down there now. So, say like another good five, five to ten turns with our caravels, we can delete them. So by the year 1900, that's when I'm hopefully going to come out on the other side of this rebuild, I guess you could say. All right, because we'll have the Big Ben by then, and we can hopefully spike our happiness and continue to grow. So another public school coming in one turn. It's good news. All right, yeah, so let's just keep going here. Really don't have to do much. So 272. Now, I don't think, does a public school help by just being built, or is it specialist? I'll be able to tell when this gets built. So it's 272 right now with Palenque. I know it helps with specialists, but does it, add, like, because the library, it's like a one plus science for every two citizens or something. What does the, what does the public school do? We're at 272. Let's see what it goes up to. Go on now. Purchasing, I mean, not, I can't even talk. Processing. There you go. It went up by 10. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, so it does, just building the public schools help. So you can see, a few a few videos ago, we were at, what, less than 200 science per turn, right? So we are starting to catch up. I'd imagine these guys are still making, you know, similar or probably a little bit more. But just wait till all of them get done and we have the population starting to rise. It will really make a difference. Attila's Court, we got the monument done. Uh, let's get those, uh, let's get a granary done just so we can grow. Why not? Choose production. Uh, we got the public school done in uh, Palenque. That's good. So don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Factory. Yeah, we'll get that done in Palenque. That'll help the production. 
And you know what I'm going to do for Washington? Because the workers need to get over here. I'm going to buy these, uh, buy these, uh, these uh, mining tiles. All right? Because they're taking forever. You know what I might do? I might just... Uh, no, 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 no. Keep that gold for now. Keep that gold. We're still minus 60. I don't need to purchase any, any uh, tiles. All right? So the workers now will hopefully get over there and build mines on, that, on those tiles. All right? Uh, yep. Okay. Let's go. Next turn. Don't need to do too much else. Oh, hang on a second here. Uh, Roman privateer. He was over here, and I think he just came over here. I think he's just exploring. One unit. All right? They wouldn't be going towards my borders either. They'd be going straight towards the city. Genghis Khan has declared war on Ragusa. So these two. So he wasn't able to actually take Panama City, I guess. Uh, Edinburgh has been... Oh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh has been captured by a Byzantium. So the... Uh, that, yeah, that hurt them. Wait, wait, there it is, there it is. So Byzantium is actually becoming a superpower. That's good, boys. Theodora and Rome. Theodora is no slouch. She's taking cities. She's having, uh, what's it called, uh, trade agree uh, not trade agreements, research agreements with Arabia, right? And also, Rome's up there as well. So you, I gotta think that Rome, Byzantium, and Arabia are going to butt heads eventually. Um, like, I guess, yeah, because now, yeah, now they have borders that are touching up here. Yeah, 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 all right, that's good news for us. So, but Bodica lost their capital. Genghis Khan, blah, blah, blah. Arabia has replaced Rome as the ally of Manila. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, plenty of crap is going over there. No one's going to come over here to attack us. They don't have the time. All right, Utrecht. Uh, might as well get some... Ah, uh, it's going to take 10 turns. You know what, Utrecht? Get that public school done. You're not an Amsterdam-type city. Uh, Stockholm, we got the public school done. That's good news. Stockholm, you can get the factory done. I need you to be a production city. Okay. Cargo ship. We're going to send you back to Kabul. There you go. Another cargo ship, it looks like. Nope, that's it. Uh, two turns for another public school. Four more turns. Four. Four. Yeah. All right. We're getting built here. We're getting built up. Oh, it needs orders. All right. So this guy is back. Let me just switch. Let me switch. Switch. Oh, wait. Oh, he's stuck. Okay. 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 Sorry. There you go. Next turn. So we got chemistry done now. All right. It's quite. It's come to my attention that your empire appears to be quite puny. Very well. I guess so because I don't have the uh, the culture that is extending our border. So that's okay. So we're almost up to plus three hundred. We got chemistry done, which will help out the manufacturing production, mine production, and quarry production by one. So there's production going up now with chemistry. Okay. So you can see how now I like. Every little technology that we get, every resource, every improvement, every building. All right, we're slowly but surely growing, boys. Hopefully, we can just get this damn big bed. That's all I want. All right, so chemistry. That's a big one. Fertilizer is a big one as well. It improves food, plantation, food, I mean, uh, pasture and uh, farm. All right. Blah, 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 blah. So our denunciation no longer has any uh, weight to it. That's good news. You switch with him. All right, when we finish the Big Ben, if we do get it, like uh, the Oxford University, I still got to build two more. I can't get any of these, yeah. Oh, whatever. All right, you, you can go to, I'll just leave you here. You're not going to get hurt right there, it's okay. Cargo ship, they're going to go to Kathmandu. There you go, very nice. And actually, Kalzad's mount, I'm going to allow grow. There you go. Emotep, you stay put. All right, next turn, let's go. Wouldn't mind, uh, wouldn't mind getting this big Ben done in this video if nothing happens. If if we can continue here, I'd like to get big bun, uh, big big bun. I can't even talk right now. I really can't. Too many commentaries already. But um, I'd like to get it done in this video if nothing else happens. If we don't, if if someone declares war on us, I'm gonna have to stop it just to be safe and get everything back on track. All right. So we found Zanzibar and some merchantile. So so we, also we can start saving up some gold so we can get some city states for happiness. Right. So, Kalzad's mount has grown, so back to avoid growth on production. Two more turns. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It's just city-state stuff announcing to the world they're protecting them. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, they want whales. Uh, okay, we got another social policy. Can we get ideologies yet? No, we can't. Okay, that's a big one. So, what should we get this with this, with this social policy? I think a lot of people were saying rationalism for some science. Uh, adopting rationalism will give you 10% happiness when the science, or 10% 10, 10 science when the empire is happy. And also when Locke's building the porcelain tower. Yeah, see, the only thing is the next time we get a social policies, I think I'm going to be using them in ideologies. But 
Uh, a start for this one is definitely a good one. I mean, I don't need that. I don't need that. Every city. Mm, I don't need that. And I don't need that. Yeah, this first one will be good. So we're at 310. What are we going to go up by? Up to 332? Is that how it's going to be? Let's see. Rationalism. 344. Yeah, that's big. So look at the jumps we've made in science now, boys, with all the public schools and the now rationalism. Now we're up to plus 344. I'm telling you, we're going to start catching up now. All right. Uh, stay put. Frigate. All right. So we got our first frigate done in Amsterdam, and we didn't have to purchase it. It's good. All right. So Amsterdam, start building up that... Uh, that, uh, yeah, just keep on building frigates. I don't need privateers to take cities. I want frigates to defend the cities. Uh, public school done in Washington. And look at this. When I purchase those, two mines coming in Washington now, okay? Uh, zoo, factory. We'll get the factory done in Washington because alongside of Palenque and Venice, these three up here, and then also Calzod's Mount, I think we'll get a factory done after if we haven't got the uh, public school done, okay? Let me just search my borders, make sure I'm safe. Yeah, it looks good. wonder where that Arabian settler went. Frigate over here by their city. It's okay. What the hell's going on, man? I hope, I hope the video doesn't get screwed up. It seems like it's gotten uh, frozen a little bit a few times. Oh, well. Uh, what's, what was that? Oh, yeah, okay. All right, so next turn. Let's go ahead here. Uh, one more after this to get the Big Ben. Our happiness is right where I want it. A plus one. We're okay there. I would like to, uh, what's it called, raise Bagacum and uh, Attila's court population, but slowly but surely, it's not looking too bad right now. Just I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. All right, all right. Ooh, look at this. We're actually starting to see a little bit more. So it actually cuts up a little bit here. It's not just out and around. Whoa, what the hell is that? Look at that, boys. The, Byz <laughs> Byzant uh, the Byzantine... Uh navy right here i should definitely follow these guys but that's why i gotta build up some frigates right but look we also a special agent gudrun stole another uh technology from uh, rome so we can get oh we can get electricity i think that'll take us to the modern age so electricity is 3500 science archaeology 2000 metallurgy 1000 i'll take electricity there you go electricity beautiful all right so that was that's a big one for us man gudrun's been a, a beast of a uh Beast of a spy. All right, so Gudrun and Olden is still in uh, Constantinople. 16 more turns for that one. So let's see what um, what that did for us. Open it up. Electricity. Electricity. There you go. So, I mean, 16 turns and we can be in the modern era as well now, okay? So that was a good one. You, you're going to fortify. I need to stay with that uh, Byzantine or Byzantine uh, navy. You stay put. Production. We finished the public school in Helsinki, which is good news. Uh, what do I want to build? Factory. Get that factory done. Okay. One more factory. I can get... You know what? Actually, I don't want a factory in there. Let me go back to a uh, windmill. Because I want the factory. I only have two coal left. I want a factory in Calzod's Mount. And I think the other one I want in, like, Stockholm or Amsterdam. Major city in the in the west. Because we have, like, four in the east. Okay. So, yeah. That's good. So, let's go with a one more turn to get the Big Ben done. And also, to keep an eye on these guys down here. Uh, how did you, how did your filthy agent somehow steal one of our basic technologies? Uh, my agents go where they please, whatever. What are you going to do about it? All right, so let's see where these guys are. F uh, please don't be sailing towards my land. That's a formidable force right there. I'd have to, I'd have to build up a little bit of a navy. Let them attack, use my city barrages. Uh, no, they're still, they're staying there. I wonder, I wonder if there's something down here and there's like a barbarian encampment. That is weird. I don't know what they're doing down here, but they didn't move at all. I'm gonna use this caravel. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure figure out what the hell's going on down here. Big Ben! Alright, that's huge. That is huge. But before I go, before I forget, hang on. What, what the hell is going on over here? Ah, they're doing the same thing as the Romans. They're going after the barbarian encampments and they're getting stuck around them because they're not sending any uh, ground units to take them out. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Alright, so barbarian encampment down there. Production. We got the public school done in Yerevan. Good. Hydro plant will help out uh, production for Oh yeah, that would be all production for all these tiles. Yes, hydro plant. There you go. Uh, production. So, we got the Big Ben done in Calzod's Mount. We can't get any wonders done right now, so I won't even try. Uh, stock exchange, public school, factory. Uh, public school, let's get it done. Let's just get it done. Alright, we're catching up in science now, so let's just continue with it. Cargo ship, let's go to Kabul. There you go, I'm just going to continue the same trade routes. Emotep, you're going to stay put. All right, so we're going to end it right there, boys. You can see how we're continuing to grow. Now, instead of uh, public schools, we got factories, right? Uh, one more public school. 
two more public schools. Yeah, three more public schools. We also have to build up the Navy, right? But look at that now. Science is plus uh, uh, 363. And also, we're not even focusing on science. If I get to the point now where I can focus on science, that's going to go way up there. All right. So here are the demographics, just to show you guys. Uh, look at that. We've actually caught up. We were we were always hanging around less than 10 or 10 percent. Now we're up to 53, and they're at 60. Right. So I think we are going to start catching up now. It's going to be late game. But what I said before is these guys are going to be at each other's throats now. Byzantium and Rome. I'm telling you, just wait, just wait. All right. So if we can uh, hold off for maybe another full video, get all those special buildings that we need, get the frigates built for the Navy on the narrow sea, we're going to be in a very good spot. All right. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one.